all right so um it's pretty good to be back on skillshare to um update my class about the photoshop beginners tutorial so i was supposed to have done this for a long time but i was way up so very busy but now i'm back i have to keep doing what i know how to do best and if you're making it up 2018 it's okay so right now in this class we are going to talk about mask all right you heard me right mask um not really mask layer mask <clears throat> okay so we will talk about layer mask but first before we go into layer mask let's think what is mask before we add the word layer to it and if we understand what is mask, then we will be able to understand the word layer mask. So, a mask, what is a mask? A mask is used for hiding a particular item. Or let's just say, a mask is used for hiding identity or hiding a face or any other thing you wish to hide or is put behind that mask so let you say anything behind the mask you won't be able to see that and anything at the front of the mask you will be able to see that that makes sense okay so let's really uh, break this down so let's say now I grab a rectangle right here or any shape but I grab a rectangle and I say that I want to make use of the rectangle as my mask so and this is the face I really want to hide, which is this pretty little girl I have on my screen. So when I draw the rectangle on the face, so let's just say I have created a mask, right? Now, as you can see, the rectangle or the square shape is my mask. We are unable to see her face because the mask is covering her face and it's on top her face. And why her face is behind the rectangle or behind the mask so that's really clear to you so now think of it as layer mask what would a layer mask do right okay so first let's really understand what it's a layer mask before we go in depth of the mask so first of all a layer mask is a what a mask or a sub layer or whatever it is but a layer mask is a, let me just put it this way a layer mask is an item applied to the layer which you use for hiding and revealing some part of the layer I guess that's pretty simple for you to understand but if I'm wrong with my own terms of the mask you can correct me so now let's say looking at this picture we just want to hide out some hide some places on this picture how are we going to do that first of all make use of the layer mask right? and the amazing part of the layer mask is that you really don't need to convert a layer into layer zero or to unlock it from being the background layer before you apply the layer mask want to see that let's try so now coming down to the word the layer part where you get this icon which is the word the layer mask icon now if you look up here you can see that our background is still locked so if i come down to layer mask I come down to the layer mask and i click on the word layer mask icon to add a layer mask to that let me see what's going on with my layer if I see you see that I added layer marks to that it automatically convert that into a what a background a layer zero to me as you can see right there but in most cases if you want to do some things on the background you have to go there and convert the background to layer zero before you do that but in this case the layer mask automatically help you to do that well so let's proceed now to understanding the layer mask better and check the word other kinds of mask or other kind of layer mask we have 
inside of Photoshop. So first now, let's say we want to hide off, hide out, hide some part of this background. So let's say I want to hide at these places and what, so on. What is it going to do? Okay, so first, let me just quickly make, before making a lot of a selection, let me come down to this part and add up a, what, a layer mask. So now I add up a layer mask. What I have there, I have a white layer mask. And in Photoshop, we have two types of layer mask. Let me just put it this way so that it will be pretty straight and simple to you guys. We have the what? The black layer mask and the white layer mask. In other words, we have the black, we call that the black, the inverted layer mask or whatever it is to you. I really don't know, but let's just put it the way I said before. So we have the black layer mask and the white layer mask in Photoshop. The white layer mask it's there so that you would use it to hide some certain places and why the black layer mask it's used to hide up everything then later on you go back and you review those things you have to what, review right now so as you can see in my layer when i add up the white layer mask you can see that everything on my image it's still appearing i can see every part of my image and so on so let me just say i delete this layer mask right now and then let me just apply that i delete layer mask and then i come down to the layer mask instead of just what clicking on the layer mask i hold on the alternate or my keyboard or the option I hold on the alternate and i would click on the layer mask you see what happens right now when i hold on alt and i click on the layer mask i get the black layer mask added to the layer but right now in my workspace everything or all the pictures i have all the girly picture that i have on my workspace just disappeared right so now you can see the difference between the uh, the white layer mask and the black layer mask so now let's really go in depth of using this layer mask or how we can use them in our day-to-day -day activities or our photo editing activities or whatever activities you want to do in photoshop that requires masks so let's see now I add the, the layer marks to that, the white layer marks to the layer first, and I want to hide some part of this image, right? So let's just say I want to hide this part of the image. To do that now with the white layer mask selected, what I have to do, I will come down to my word, my color part. When I get to my color part, you will see that word, the up one is set to black and white the blue is set to white. Why is it that way? Let me what, make that clear for you. So let's say I select the word, the main image layer, right where I have the word, the image, the main image layer, and I come down to this part, and I change the color of this black to something like red, and I click OK, and I come down to the white, and I change it to something like blue, and I click OK. Now look at this point. We have the red and the blue right here. And what has been selected here, the main image layer and not the layer mask. So now if I select the layer mask, you see what happens, right? It automatically switched to black and white. Because in the layer mask, we are only permitted to make use of two colors, which is the black and the white. Okay, so now to hide on this, to hide some part of this image, why we have the word white layer mask. All we have to do, we need to set our foreground color to black and why the background color will always be white, doesn't really matter. So the background color needs to be what? Black and why the, fog the foreground color needs to be black and why the background color needs to be what? White. It all really depends on how you want to set it, but in Photoshop, that is exactly how you set it is supposed to be. So with that settings the layer mask is selected and make sure the layer mask is being selected because if the layer mask is not selected wherever you are doing you won't really get at all you just have to what mess your image so with the layer mask selected and to be sure that the layer mask is selected all you have to do just check your layers and see the what the cursor around your what selection to know which one is being selected right now i have my what image selected and if i click on my layer mask you can see that what the layer mask is now selected so now to erase some part of this when you grab the eraser tool so let's just quickly go and grab the eraser tool and try to 
increase the size of the eraser too right now so as you can see when you clean it's not going to clean when you make use of the eraser too, you wouldn't be able to erase anything but in the layer mask mode all you need to do for you to erase or to hide is to make use of the, what, the brush to which the shortcut on your keyboard is B so clicking on the brush to you can always control the size of your keyboard you can increase and you can decrease the size of your brush so now with the brush is selected and with the word foreground color set to black all you just have to do head over to the parts where you want to what, hide and start painting over those parts now you see that what those parts have been what hidden and when you look over to the layer mask let me just undo this and take it back set my opacity box 100 and my flow box 100 and just quickly switch the brush to round brush okay so now when you paint you see that what those parts you paint have been what look like they have been erased but in some other points they are not what erase you are just what hiding those parts from the image so let me just erase all this part and see this is just the part i want to erase so, right okay so let's just say these are the parts i want to erase from the word image now when you go back to the layer mask you see that what we have a black filling some part of the word the layer mask and white some part it's what white now those part having black simply means the word the parts we just hide on our word on our work space and the parts in white simply means the part that we would have here so let's say you made a mistake why erasing so just erase this part which you know you are not supposed to erase you erase this part so how can you fix that or how can you bring that back well that's totally simple go back to your your colors and we we'll just make use of this button to switch between the word the black and the white or you press x on your keyboard to toggle between the black and the white so with the white selected and still the layer mark selected just go over to the part you want to review and paint this is what bring back everything which you just erase so i'll just quickly bring back everything that i just erased because that's totally nasty now in other words you can make use of this method to do a reversible change to your word image that is if you erase some background or erase some part you'll be able to what, bring that back by just switching your colors and what so on so now let's get to understand the difference between this mask and trying to what, make use of a clipping mask in photoshop so the difference between a clipping mask and a layer mask a clipping mask is on a separate layer on its own which is clipped to a particular layer to lock transparency and why a layer mask is the word a mask added to a layer to hide or erase some things on that layer so let's say i have let me just quickly expand my old canvas just make use of the seed crop to, to do that all right so now i have my canvas expand so let's say I want to paint or add some things to this image with the brush too and I don't want it to appear outside of this layer or outside of this image that I have here. How can I fix that? So if I create a new layer and I grab the brush too and just sample color from this part and I start painting, all I want it to all the place i want it to appear is just only on the word the image but it's going out of the word the image how can you fix that well it's very simple just head over to your layer part right click on that layer you create and look for where i say create a clipping mask when you click on that create a clipping mask you see that what it's no longer the usual layer you have or you see that the arrangement is now different the layer you just set to a clipping mask move inside a bit than the word the main layer if you create a new layer on it you can see the difference between both layers so we'll just quickly delete this layer so now whatever you do so let's just quickly switch the colors right here let's just take a little bit of white and so so now whatever you do on this layer it's just going to affect this word the below layer because you have what clipped that above layer to the below layer so if i just paint with the white you can see that what everything i paint it's inside of that what layer 
which I would clip the above layer to. And easy point the main thing to this is that where well, you can easily delete this layer. That is, if you make a mistake and your control is no longer undo that, you can just drag the layer down to the word the delete icon and you would you delete the layer. You can easily do that. But making use of the word lock transparency option onto that layer is still doing the same thing with the word the clipping mask. But once you are done with this and you've gone far working that using the control Z to undo all these stuff and you just have to start all over again and start working. So let me just quickly undo that and what fits my image back. Hit on enter. So now we have other various masks in Photoshop. So let's try out the what the reverse layer mask, which is the what the black. So I'll click and we'll drag this down and delete that. I don't need to apply that. So now you can what hold on out on your keyboard and what add up a layer mask, which is the word the black. And now after adding the black layer marks to your layer, everything you have on your workspace disappears. Now it's time for you to what reveal those parts you need and not every part but if you need every part you can reveal every part but the parts you just need you just have to what reveal them we still the same process you grab a brush too and set the opacity and the flow to any amount of your choice and this time instead of the word white the black color as you were the foreground color you set the white to the foreground color and now once you have the settings and your layer marks has been selected you can now what paint over to reveal every part which you want so i can just say i need everything on the layer and just uh, paint over everything i want all right so here we go now everything on the layer mask it's now white and everything on our what, workspace is being what revealed just like the what your other parts so let's see now you would Apply the word the black layer mask or the white layer marks to the layer and you are supposed to what apply the word the black layer mask. Well you can still do that. Now make sure that the foreground color is set to black and the layer mask is selected. Then you hold on up and hit the backspace on your keyboard to fill the layer mask with the black color you just selected. Or maybe if I'm correct, you can grab the paint bucket to with the black selected and with the layer mask selected and you can what fill that and when you fill that with the black everything you have is just going to what, disappear just like when you add up the black layer marks to the layer the same thing applies to the white you can use that alt and backspace and it's going to bring back everything you make use of the what you paint bucket too and it's still going to bring back everything as long as it's white and it's black now coming down to the solid and the adjustment layer parts now in that part we have a layer mask already created for us right there so when i say let me just create um, a curve adjustment layer looking at the curve you see that we already have a white layer mask on the word the curves layer now with that layer mask we will be able to what, control the curves in the places where we want those curves to appear so let's say i make this a little bit darker just maybe i want the background a little bit darker and not the word her skin and now it's affecting everything so i can easily go back and control that later so right now we have what the dark part affecting every part of the word the image but all i just want is just to what affect only the skin now to do that you just have to what switch your colors back again back to the blacks now make sure you select the layer mask and the foreground color set to black but the brush to select it but this time instead of making use of the hard round brush you make use of the what the soft round brush since you are what, working on the skin you just want to keep that smooth transition but it's not really about the transition right now but just the mask so paint over the places where you don't want that black to affect Okay, so now as you can see on the layer mask, we have just like a shape of her on the layer mask and why in our workspace, we can easily see 
the lights that we have there before. Now you can toggle your mask that is on and off to see the places you want to apply that mask or the place you don't want to apply that mask. So when you hold and shift and click on the layer mask, you will disable the layer marks for some time or for how long you want it to be disabled. And when you hold and shift and click on it again, you will have to what, enable the mask at that point. But if you don't need the marks, you can go then and what erase the what the mask. So the last types of mask mask we are going to take right now in Photoshop, it's going to be the smart object mask. Whenever you convert a layer into a smart object, there is always a layer mask that comes along with that layer. Right. So let's quickly see that and see how we will be able to make use of that word layer mask in the smart object or whatever it is that you have converted into so i'll just quickly make a duplicate of this layer by hitting ctrl j on my keyboard and right click and come down to what convert to smart object now the image is in smart object mode but we can't see any mask right now the mask will only appear when you apply a certain filter to this layer in order for us to get the word In order for us to get the word, that layer mask for the word, the smart filter, we have to go down to what filter and what select any filter of our chairs. Like I can just say I want the word the Gaussian blur filter just right here, which is under the blur and the word the Gaussian blur filter. So when I click on that, I can what add up filter. Now before we quick before we exit the Gaussian blur filter look at the layer right so let me cancel this look at the layer you can see there is nothing here we only have the smart object icon right so now going back into the filter and blur then we're coming down to uh, the gaussian blur when you look at the layer now you can see that we have just two cycles on the layer stacking on top of what each other which simply means that there is something new with that layer okay so if I add up the Gaussian blood to the more, just let us say this is what I want the Gaussian blood to be or whatever it is to feel like. Let's just say this is okay. Yeah, this is okay. So when I hit on okay, now we can't see anything like okay, so this is out. But in case you have yours like this, we can't see anything like or what a mask to this. But when you click on this drop down arrow, when you click on that, it's going to what reveal the filters, and now you got what smart filter and the Gaussian blur filter you just what added. But right now we are not really talking about the what the smart object, what the smart object is used for, or what the smart object do in Photoshop. We are talking about the what the layer mask. So looking at this part now, this is no longer a what a layer mask. This is now called a what an filter or effect mask as you just see right there because a layer mask is different from a word a filter mask this will never whatever word where you or whatever thing you hide on this layer mask it's not really going to what, affect the image itself it will only affect the mask which you just created and you have other things to this but Right now, we're not really talking about the smart filters or the word, the smart object. It's all about the word, the layer mask. So now when you select the layer mask and you can see that what the color has automatically switched right here. If I go back to the layer, which is that, you see we have the default colors, which I have here before applying the word, the layer mask. So when this word, select the word, the layer, the filter mask right there, the switch back automatically. So now we want to soften out this blur just to what only to the background and what so or like just we want to keep the face in focus and we want to lose focus on the body so we'll grab the brush too again and with the foreground color set to black and what so then we'll paint over the places where you want to keep the what the focus like i just want the focus only on the what the face so right now you can see that what we have the what the focus only on the what on the face because we have used the mask or the filter mask to what hide the what the blur effect we apply to this image from the what the face you can go and what paint away other parts and it's so now you can what toggle between the foreground and the background color to what reveal those what mask which you just what erase and the interesting part of this is that whatever thing that has been applied on the what layer mask you can always do that and what i mean is that what 
Now we want to what? Let's just we want to hide all the what? The Gaussian blur filter, but we still need the filter because we might need something else from the filter later on, or we will reveal some part from the filter later on. But right now we just need to what? Hide the filter, and we don't want to what? Turn this eye here off because when you turn the eye off, you are going to what? Turn off the Gaussian blur filter. So if we just want to reveal that, but we still want to hide the what the Gaussian blur filter on the what the layer mask. So make sure you are selecting the layer mask right there and come down to this part just exactly what you did before. You can toggle with the what the X button on your keyboard and hit on what Alt plus backspace on that what filter mask that you selected. And you see everything just what disappear. You can switch to white and then review this on what the places where you want to be blocked but you can't see it in the background because it's just a what a regular gradient background that doesn't really have anything that will make you see the blur so let me undo that from that part just like this and this yeah so alt and backspace switch so between the black and the white alt and backspace and now let's switch to white and let's paint so we always we just want to keep the focus on the face and want to lose the focus on every other part so let's paint on what those part we will want to lose the focus so let's just assume it's all those parts but we still just need only what the face so now you can what see that the difference between what the filter mask and the what the layer mask the filter mask affects the word the filter mask affects the filters you apply to that particular layer and why the layer mask affects the layer itself and what the word solid adjustment layer mask affects that what solid or the adjustment layer you just what created and if you really just forget about that you can what take back the video to understand the what the solid or the adjustment field layer mask so right now they just quickly this is supposed to be the last part of the mask I'm supposed to touch but I just really have to touch the very important part which is what the layer mask when you erase background I'm not really going to show you in depth of how to what edit the mask which you are going to what apply so let's just see how to use a layer mask to erase background from a picture right inside of Photoshop I'm not going to spend much time taking some parts of these pictures and what so on. so you can make use of a favorite tool to do that but right now i'm just going to make use of the word the quick selection tool because i just want to be quick so right now drag the smart filter and what we'll delete that to erase everything so i'm going to hit w on my keyboard to select the quick selection tool but i got the magic one to select it so with a quick selection to selected, you might want to plan on with the size of like, but I'm okay. So I'm just gonna quickly make a rough selection around this young lady we have on my screen, and this just go everywhere. I don't want that everywhere. So let's just see. I'm okay with this, right? So this is what I want, and this is what I want it to be. And the hair, just a little part of the hair, so that it will just won't look weird. Though let's just keep that that way. So, once you're done with the selection, you make use of the pencil, you know how to make use of the pencil. When you make use of the pencil, right click, make selection, and you have the what, the blinking lines of the selection, which you just would make. Make the selection and what, go down to the what, the layer mask icon and what, add a layer mask, which is just what, this eye. Now, you can see we add a layer mask, but we still have the what, the background. What would have caused that the layer mask is supposed to what hide the other part of the background and what leave the selection we just made but now we add the layer mask and we still see the background well look over to this part we have a duplicate of the layer so just turn off the below layer and you can see the layers the background has been what erased so now you can do more with this mask on this image like retouching the picture that is the edges refining the edges and some other part of it by doing how you're going to do that when you go to the mask and you right click and hit on what select and mask when you hit on the select and mask option the word select and mask option is going to come up and you do whatever you want to do in here but this isn't all about the word the select and mask option so i'm going to cancel that and what 
get back to that so now with the layer marks selected when you hold down up and click you will go into the what the layer marks now you can see how rough it is from here you can add up and you can what erase from here you can still just what grab the brush too and if you have the white colors when you paint on all this side it's going to what reveal this part so now when you hold down up and click on it again you see that what you have the background from that part you want to paint and when you hold down up and toggle the fog foreground the background color you paint you don't have that white here anymore and when you hold on up and click your back into the world the layers and you see that part has what just disappeared so i guess you really understand what it is and how to use layer mask inside of photoshop i want to see you guys start making use of a what a layer mask make sure to leave your work or comments below on how you make use of layer mask and what you've done with layer mask so far so that's really going to be it in this class and i hope you really enjoyed the class see you guys in my next class or my next videos have a nice